Imagine someone disappearing, a co-worker, a friend, or even a loved one. It's a scary thought. Now consider the idea of hundreds or even thousands of people mysteriously vanishing without a trace. Without anyone to provide insight or any kind of explanation to their families. The following are just such cases. Here are 10 chilling cases of mass disappearances. Number 10 is the 5th Norfolk Battalion. The 5th Norfolk Battalion was used during the First World War in an attempt to defeat Turkey. However, one day the battalion mysteriously vanished. They were fighting in the Galapagos campaign and attacked Turkish troops on August 12, 1915. Following this attack, the entire battalion, over 250 soldiers, were never heard from again. Now usually in such situations, prisoners would have been taken, but the Turkish army had no knowledge of taking any prisoners from the 5th. All that's known is that during the attack, the Norfolk Battalion had become separated from the larger 163rd Brigade. Over 50 years later, 1965, a New Zealand sailor, along with three other veterans, had claimed that they had witnessed strange clouds hovering over the 5th Battalion which seemed to consume them. To this day, there's no explanation for the mass disappearance and it remains unsolved. Number nine are the Lake Michigan Three. On July 2nd, 1966, three young friends vanished without a trace. Ann Miller and Renee Bruhl were only 19 at the time and Patricia Blau, the third missing woman, was only 21 years old. The day that they disappeared, they visited a beach on Lake Michigan. There, surrounded by the crowded sunbathers on a summer's day, the three women boarded a small motorboat, leaving their belongings behind. Unfortunately, they were never heard from again. No one knows what happened to the three friends, but many wonder about the unidentified man who was supposedly at the helm of the motorboat. The question is, was he their murderer? Disturbingly, some have speculated that two of the women were pregnant and were traveling to a known illegal abortion clinic, which operated from a houseboat on the lake, and then suddenly something went wrong. Was that the case, or were they murdered, or was it something else? To this day, nobody knows. Number eight is Flight 19. While taking part in a routine training exercise, five large aircraft disappeared over the Bermuda Triangle. The disappearance occurred on December 5, 1945, and included the loss of 14 airmen and crew. The bombers were designated Flight 19 for the duration of their three-hour training mission. This was to take them on a triangular path from the Florida coast. Most of the air crew involved had logged around 300 hours in flight time. But during the mission, for some unknown reason, the pilots reported their compasses were malfunctioning. That's when the flight commander radioed in that they were hundreds of miles off course. His last message was faint and seemed to be about preparing the planes for a crash landing. No evidence or wreckage has ever been found to explain the disappearance. Number 7 is the 9th Legion. The 9th Roman Legion was involved in one of the most famous mass disappearances of all time. Sometime around AD 120, the Legion disappeared from Roman documents. This is unusual as Romans kept meticulous records. Many have speculated about what exactly happened to the 9th, but we do know that it was operating in Britain at the time. One popular theory is that the Legion was sent to deal with the Celtic tribes of Scotland and disappeared while in the Scottish wilderness. Most probably at the hands of the Picts or Celtic tribes who lived there. Then there are others that believe that they made a last stand in the English town of York. To this day, no evidence of the true fate of the Ninth Legion has ever been found, and perhaps never will. Number six is the Flannan Isles Lighthouse. 
In another case coming out of Scotland was another bizarre mass disappearance that was directly connected to the Flannan Isles Lighthouse. Located on one of the Flannan Isles in the Outer Hebrides, the lighthouse became the center of a mystery when in 1900 the lighthouse keepers staying there completely vanished. A relief vessel known as the Hesperus arrived at the Isles on December 26th only to find that all three lighthouse keepers had disappeared. The only sign of trouble was a single overturned chair. No bodies were ever found, and theories range from one keeper killing the others and fleeing, to foreign spies kidnapping them. The locals themselves believed that a phantom ship of ghosts had been seen on the sea and had taken the men for some unearthly purpose. Number 5 is Mary Celeste. The Mary Celeste is the most famous mass disappearance at sea. The ship, an American merchant brigantine, was found deserted in the Atlantic Ocean on December 5th, 1872. Now while the ship seemed a little disheveled, she was seaworthy, and when boarded, rescuers found that the entire crew was missing. The cargo was still intact, and the crew had left their belongings behind. Some of the ship's navigational equipment was missing, as well as a single lifeboat. This led many to speculate that the crew and her captain left the ship to avoid some unknown danger. Possible explanations include a sea quake which could have released poisonous gas from the seafloor, which the crew tried to escape. Another is that someone on the ship murdered everyone and then left the lifeboat. But if either of those were the case, wouldn't you think that there would be at least one body left behind? To this day, not a single explanation has been put forward that explains anything. Number four is the Lake Anjikuni Settlement. In 1930, Joe LaBelle, a fur trapper in Canada, claimed that an entire Inuit village disappeared. The story goes that there was a small Inuit village on the shores of Lake Anjikuni which was well known for the hunters in the area. LaBelle claimed that he had been welcomed there many times previously. However, in 1930, when he visited again, he discovered that the entire village had been abandoned. He found evidence that people left quickly, in the middle of even preparing food. Most chilling of all, he claimed to find that the village's sled dogs, critical for Inuit survival, had been left to starve to death and that for some reason a body had been removed from a nearby grave. Now some believe this story to be a hoax, while others maintain that something terrible came from the people of that small village, perhaps from the grave itself. Number three is Koldara. Koldara village in the Rajasthan district of India remains the location of a perplexing mass disappearance. Founded in the 13th century, the village thrived for centuries, but suddenly, during the 19th century, its people disappeared. Various tales exist about the mass disappearance of Koldara, but what could make over 200 families leave their homes so suddenly? Some believe that an earthquake in the region destroyed much of the village, while others argue that the local water wells dried up. The village has developed a reputation for being haunted by the dead spirits of the villagers, who will not allow anyone to live there. Number two is Hur Verde. The Hur Verde mass disappearance is either a fascinating myth or one of the most terrifying cases of mass disappearance ever recorded. Hur Verde was supposedly a Brazilian settlement home to 600 people, all of whom disappeared in 1923. When some travelers passed through the village at that time, they found it to be deserted. The police investigated these claims and could not find any of the villagers. However, what they did find was a gun and a message on a school blackboard which read, there is no salvation. Many people believe that the events were covered up for some reason and that the disappearance is a conspiracy. Interestingly, the origin of this story is just as mysterious as the story itself. And number one is the Roanoke Colony. 
The Roanoke Colony was the location for the most infamous mass disappearance of all time. It was the first attempt by England to form a permanent colony in North America. Founded in 1587, the settlement was home to 115 colonists. Soon after, the governor, John White, sailed back to England, leaving the colonists behind and promising to return within a year with supplies. When he finally made it back, the colony had vanished. All he found was the mysterious bones of a man and the word Croatone written on a wooden post. To this day, nobody knows where this colony went, and it remains one of the greatest mysteries of disappearances of all time. These disappearances are some of the greatest of all time, but what do you make of them? Do you think that there's a logical explanation for them, or is it something more nefarious or otherworldly? Only you can decide.